representing the United States, Naomi Lang and Peter Chernyshev. So it's Fusropoli Morgalio in first place. Lobacheva and Averbuch, the Russians in second. Vinkla and Lose of Germany in third. And here are the U.S. champions, Naomi Lang and Peter Chernyshev in third after the original dance. And the music is performed by Sarah Brightman. It's called Anytime, Anywhere. This piece was choreographed by Christopher Dean. She's just holding on by her hands. He's creating all the momentum. She has nothing to say about it but to hang on. Beautiful changes of direction, really providing a lot of texture to the program. One way, then the other. to the U.S. back in 1993 from St. Petersburg, Russia. Hopes to have his citizenship by the time the 2002 Olympics roll around. Now this is their circular footwork. It's hard, the music is slow, so it, it tends to make the footwork look slow. But what they're doing is really pleasant, very smooth. difficult. performance very difficult choreography well skated beautiful great reception for the crowd too here in Colorado Springs 20 year old Naomi Lang 28 year old Peter Chernyshev the reigning U.S. Naomi champions Lang the final Peter ice dance team of the competition and you would expect High marks. Maybe tough to move all the way up in third place after the original dance. Remember, there are three phases of this competition. But a wonderful accomplishment nonetheless. 
what's so unfortunate is that in the compulsories, they skated to the Viennese waltz. I had them in first or second place. And it's unfortunate they weren't rewarded for that. But they've maintained their composure throughout the competition. They're, they're looking more confident, which is so nice to see. That's been a problem for them in the past. We'll have their scores when we return to National Car Rental Skate America. Chernyshev, the reigning U.S. champs, in third place after the original dance, trying to move up with their effort. The first set of marks, 5.2 to 5.6. Well, look at the German judge, 5.2. I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> they did much better than that. I can tell you're <laughs> And now the second set of marks for presentation, 5.4 to 5.6. So they were in third place heading into the free dance, and that's where Lang and Chernyshev end up. But it's Barbara Fusarpoli and Maurizio Morgaglio, the six-time Italian champion, celebrating backstage with Tatiana Tarasova, their choreographer. They will skate away with the championship here and earn 12 Grand Prix points for the win. Second place, Lobachev and Averbuk of Russia. Lang and Chernyshev of the U.S. earned seven points with a third-place finish. Silverstein and Pekarik earned four points with a fifth-place finish. Susie Wynn has made her way over to have a word with Lang and Chernyshev. Susie? Thanks, Terry. Naomi, Peter, congratulations. Now, you've come out here a little bit early to Colorado Springs to get used to the altitude and work with Christopher Dean. How has he influenced your skating this year? He's been a very, very positive influence to us. Um, when we were having a hard time, he kind of lifted our spirits up and we set new goals with him and he's just been a wonderful, wonderful influence to us. Now, what have you been working on? You just seem to be improving at a very fast rate, Peter. I'd say the 70% of our time we spend on working on the free dance because um, that was kind of challenging choreography for us and I think that uh, will bring us on a higher level of skating. Plus, um, as uh, our coaches Igor and Liz were suggesting, uh, we were working a lot on the power of our skating, our speed. Well, you've got a great team, continued success. We look forward to watching you. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations. Terry, back to you.